Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about the mesial gracie. Remember, a gracie is a site-specific instrument, meaning it's used in one specific area in the mouth. This one happens to be the gracie 1112, um, which is a mesial gracie. This gracie will instrument the direct buckles, direct linguals, and into the mesial aspect of the tooth on the posterior teeth. So we're going to take a look at this one today. Remember that Gracie's have uh, a single cutting edge that is used um, in that site specific area. The lower cutting edge is used and it has a nice rounded toe. Of course we use it sub or you can use it supra as well but site specific. So let's take a look and see how we can determine whether we have the correct working end or not. Remember, it's the lower cutting edge that is the, the edge that we use on this site-specific curette. So again, remember posterior parallel. So let's put it on the distal aspect of tooth number 14. And we're looking at the terminal shank, of course, right here, first bend to the second bend. And we want to make sure that this terminal shank area is parallel with the long axis of the tooth. So let's take a look. First, we're going to put it on the distal and take a look. That crosses the tooth a little bit, doesn't it? Now let's look at the other end. That is much more parallel, isn't it? Let's look one more time. Now remember what we talked about, our other Gracie, our distal Gracie. You could make any instrument terminal shank parallel, couldn't you? If I can move the instrument like this, of course it's going to be parallel. But the instrument handle needs to come up and out of the mouth. So in order for that to do that, when I give it up and out of the mouth with the handle, you can see that it crosses the facial aspect of the tooth. Let's try the other end. There you go, up and out of the mouth, and that would be the correct end. So remember, this is a mesial gracie. It can be used super or sub. And we're going to show you how this one works. You would start at the distal buccal line angle. If you remember right, the gracie 1314, which is your distal gracie, instrument, you instrument from the distal buccal line angle into the distal, or the distal lingual line angle into the distal. This one is going to take up where that instrument leaves off. We're going to start at the distal buccal line angle and remember to check your grasp. Remember that your finger and thumb across one another on the handle with enough room to roll. Your middle of your middle finger against the shank and of course your fulcrum finger or ring finger is extended. Okay, remember that we're working on surfaces away. So I'm going to be from 10 to 11. Start at the distal buccal line angle. Kind of doing oblique strokes back here, rolling the instrument right into the interproximal, halfway across. You get the other half from the lingual aspect. Let's try the next tooth. Remember that you're doing oblique strokes starting at the distal buckle line angle all the way around to the mesial roll it into the mesial of the tooth very good okay next tooth distal buckle line angle check that grasp roll it into the interproximal very good now insertion for this instrument is very similar to the other instruments that we worked with. Remember that you're going to want to, let's work on this tooth back here, number 15. You're going to want to come as close to zero as you can. Insert with the back of the instrument. Open up your angulation just a little bit, just with the toe, one-third, and instrument into the mesial. Let's do that one more time. Remember to start at the distal buccal line angle. Insert, open, 
just the toe one-third is adapted, overlapping strokes all the way into the mesial. Roll it into the mesial.